the most perfect pulled pork you're ever gonna have is gonna be with a combination of smoke and sous vide. Hold on to your pork butts. What's up everybody, James with JB Sous Vide, and I'm so glad to have you back. If you're here to broaden your sous vide skills, you're in the right place. If you're here for the first time, hit that subscribe button down below and buckle up because we're making some perfect pulled pork and everything else you're gonna need for a perfect barbecue feast. In this video, we're gonna tackle not only the pulled pork, but we're gonna do a nice Carolina barbecue sauce, some coleslaw, and some really interesting sweet potato tots. All right, we got a lot to get to today, but first things first, I gotta get this pork butt prepped and get that smoker started. Let's go. Today, we're gonna be using the slow and sear accessory here with a full basket of charcoal. This is gonna give us a direct and indirect side on the kettle. You don't need this much charcoal as we're only gonna be doing uh, this smoke for a couple of hours, but I'm gonna be doing some cedar plank salmon for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna roll right into that when this pork butt comes off. Like I always say, if I'm gonna start the grill, I'm gonna get some use out of it. All right, while the kettle comes up to temp, we're gonna get to prepping this pork butt. It's gonna be super simple. We're starting out with a whole boneless pork butt here. This is gonna be a simple prep, like I said. As you can see, this one has a nice fat cap here. You can do as you like, but I love keeping mine on. I love when I pull it at the end, it adds that little bit of flavor, a little bit of fat and uh, moisture in each bite. What I will do here though is score the cap. This is gonna allow us to get the rub in between the fat and help it crisp up on the smoker. All right, time to rub some butts. Like always with our rubs, we're gonna layer on flavors. And it starts with my favorites, Meat Church. Going on first is gonna be our Honey Hog. Get that on all sides of your butt here and even in where that bone was. Next up is our Holy Gospel, a little bit more of a peppery note. Again, all sides. Finally, I love my coarse black pepper. So we're just gonna add another layer of it on here. I like to do all this prep after I get the smoker started. Uh, what it does is it allows that moisture to come on up to the surface. And when we get it onto the smoker, it's gonna absorb more of that smoky flavor that way. Science. Today, we're gonna to be smoking this pork butt for about four hours on the Weber kettle here at around 275 to 300 degrees. We'll add some hickory wood here to the hot portion of the coals. This is gonna help us build some of that good bark while imparting that smoky flavor. All right, it's been four hours and I didn't open the lid once. You know what they say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Let's go out and give it a look and see how we did. Wow, look at that. She's looking great. Really loving that color there. All right, y'all, learn from my mistakes. I actually thought I had some of the big vacuum sealer bags. I'm out. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this pork butt in half and put it in Ziplocs and do the water displacement method. Remember, check your stash. All right, so no worries here. We just gotta improvise. The lucky part with this cook is we don't need it as a full butt in the end, and we've already got our bark. So I'm just gonna cut her in half and put the halves in separate Ziploc bags. We'll use the water displacement method for the bath. All right, y'all, water bath break. Obviously with the 24 hour cook, we're not gonna be eating this till tomorrow night. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna get our barbecue sauce and coleslaw done ahead of time. These two really benefit from time in the fridge to allow those flavors to combine. Today, I'm going with a vinegar-based barbecue sauce. If you listen closely, you could probably hear our Carolina viewers celebrating with joy right now. I love a good vinegar-based sauce with a pulled pork. It's just the acidity brings out so many good flavors that I feel like the tomato-based sauces covers up. For our Carolina-style barbecue sauce, it's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of chili flakes, pinch of salt, a half cup of white vinegar, a 
and a half cup of apple cider vinegar. Now for a little sweetness, we're gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar. Mix that up. Mm, delicious. All right, coleslaw now. This is another super simple one that you can tailor to what you're having. Here I'm starting with a small bag of slaw mix from my local grocery store. I'm gonna add a half cup of mayo. At this point I like to mix it up because I don't necessarily go by a recipe. Lay it in about, a, about an eighth cup of sugar here. Salt and black pepper to taste. A little mix. And the taste needs a little acidity. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw in an ounce of apple cider vinegar here. And boom, there you go, simple coleslaw. All right, let's take a look at these sweet potato tots. I had these at a restaurant recently and the table just loved them. They were, uh, they were fried, but I'm gonna try a baked version here. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna start with around two pounds of sweet potatoes here. We'll go ahead and we'll peel the skins. And then we'll go ahead and place them in boiling water for 15 minutes to parboil them. After 15 minutes, you're gonna take them out and let them come to room temperature before you try and handle them again. Once they do come down to temperature, we're gonna grate them all and place everything into a bowl. Now, pretty simple here. We're gonna take a foil sheet pan, spray it with some nonstick olive oil, and begin shaping our tots. We'll take a handful of sweet potato here and just start forming. I found that cupping my hands and using the other one to shape and press worked out great. Kind of like if you were making sushi rolls. And we're just gonna do that with the rest of the remaining bowl. We're gonna go ahead and just keep our tots on this sheet, spray them with some olive oil, hit them with a little salt. And we're gonna bake for 45 minutes at 425. I'm also just gonna make a simple uh, dipping sauce for these tots, just a cup of Greek yogurt. And we're gonna add some harissa to taste here. It's getting close to dinner time. The butt's done, time to shred. Oh man, wants to shred before it even gets out of the bag. Look at how moist and juicy that still is, jeepers. Perfection. Now before you go serving here, one more sprinkle of some honey bacon barbecue. Let's go ahead and build our barbecue tray. You gotta have your thick, fluffy Texas toast. A little bit of coleslaw. Some sliced white onions. Some sweet and spicy pickles. And of course, the star of the show, that beautiful pulled pork. And now you're gonna hit it with that sauce. Make sure you shake the bottle first. And there you go, time to chow. All right, y'all, let's see how we did here. Build ourselves a little, uh, little Sammy Sam here. Uh, gotta have those pickles first. A little bit of onion, a little bit of slaw. Some of that, some of that nice pulled pork. <laughs> oh boy, it looks dynamite. That is perfect. The juiciest pulled pork you're ever gonna find in that Carolina barbecue sauce. So good. Uh, I used to be the guy who puts on a uh, tomato-based uh, barbecue sauce. All right, let's try some of these uh, sweet potato tots here. That's what they, that's what they came out as. Some of that harissa yogurt. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Those could have been crispier for my liking, but. Um, Still really good for just a couple ingredients. All right, if you got something out of this video, 
go give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel and go watch one of the other videos we got for you. I'll catch you on the next one.